I had always hoped to get selected as an astronaut when I came down. I came down to Houston in 1987 and then I had been applying ever since then, applying every year for the astronaut selection. And it took me nine years until 1996 to finally get selected. So I had always hoped to get selected, but I had a great job as an engineer. So if I didn't get selected, I was more than happy where I was. Yeah, I was always interested in space and science and things like that, but I never really thought or even knew that you could become an astronaut. I had no clue until I saw an advertisement in a magazine when I was uh, maybe 27 years old, 26 years old. We saw an advertisement in a magazine and I sent away for an astronaut application. And from that point on, I started to apply. I had the opportunity to go out to Palmdale, I believe, when we were at the NASA was accepting Endeavor from the contractor. And I was actually one of the first people to sit in the Endeavor space shuttle as an engineer and help to verify and check out the Endeavor flight control systems before we accepted it at, at, for NASA. Well, Endeavor was the, uh, of my mission is STS-118 about two and a half years ago, and that was my first spacewalk. And one of the things I got to do on Endeavor was from we exit out of the space station airlock on all the spacewalks now. But I got the op opportunity to translate into the Endeavor payload bay. So I'll always remember translating down that payload bay and going into the back of Endeavor to work and remove some of the hardware from there that we were going to install on the space station. It was, was my first spacewalk, and I was, it was an exciting moment for me. We had a problem, we had an 1,800 pound ammonia tank, and we were trying to install this ammonia tank on the International Space Station. We bolted one of the bolts down partially, but it wouldn't drive the rest of the way, and we were having problem getting some of the other bolts to line up. This a soft dock feature would not grab, it was just resisting and it would not go down. So we spent a good hour, hour and a half, using various tools and techniques, even trying to kind of slam the tank home to get it, into the, get it onto its uh, soft dock so we could bolt it up and, and install it on the space station. And we tried for a long time and we just could not get it. Eventually, I was kind of thinking in the back of my head, well, I think what we're gonna have to do is just release all these bolts and then try to kind of wiggle it around and get it, get it, to, get it installed. And of course, that's what Houston came back a, a little bit while after that. And they said, hey guys, just remove all the bolts and let's try that. And as soon as we did that, we got it installed and, and, and all was well. My first time out the, uh, out the airlock on a spacewalk, uh, I opened up the thermal cover and we opened up the hatch and we look outside and it was nighttime. So, which was kind of good because you're looking right down on the earth and so it wasn't uh, distracted by the earth traveling below me, but it was, what was going on, there was a lightning storm down below and I could see the lightning dancing in the darkness of, you know, the darkness of the earth down below. So that was a pretty neat light show. So I'll never forget going out the hatch that first time and just seeing that lightning all over the place. That was a great experience. Um, you know, every spacewalk is a little different. Some spacewalks you go out there and you really feel like, wow, I really did a great job on that one. I felt good about it. Sometimes you come in and you say, wow, that one really took a lot of energy, took a lot more out of me. But every spacewalk is a little different. Uh, there's nothing more satisfying though is when you go out there and you install a, a piece of the space station or you swap out a busted piece of hardware with a new one and Houston calls and says, hey, we tried that new piece of hardware, it's up and running, and that's always a great feeling. I think people are going to look back on the space shuttle and think it was one of the most incredible vehicles ever built by mankind. Right now, I've been saying it and I'll continue to say it, that it's, it's the most versatile, the most capable vehicle, spaceship vehicle ever built by mankind. And it's going to remain that for many, many, many years. There's nothing on even on the drawing books to go off and, and build something like the space shuttle. And I think once it's gone, it's going to be kind of one of those things where people say, well, now that it's gone, we sure wish we had it back. Uh, but everything must come to an end, and the Space Shuttle program has done a great job, it's been very successful, and it's time for it to end and move on to other, other options. <laughs>